Right, so I'm not holding out too much hope for this one. It has arrived like this, and the parcel post guy actually went, it's not very well packaged, is it? And well, I was like, well, tell me something I don't know. But then he was, he was like, oh, you don't have to accept it and everything. I'm like, well, I'm going to accept it. It might be all right. So let's see what it is. Now, when you see this, anyone who's looked at eBay in the last three years will just say, ah, Jackson has bought this one. However, I got it cheaper than what it was listed for, and a couple of things swayed me on it. Um, yeah, it's a cream and brown Henry. Now, everybody except me seems to have a cream and brown Henry. Um, oh, well, how the heck did they do this? Oh, they've taped the bag packet shut. Hang on, do excuse me as I drop my phone. Still haven't got another tripod. Anyway, yeah, this is pretty scrappy looking. Um, I was hoping I could sort of just fix it so that the neck was at least in place. However, yeah, I'm sure a clean would benefit it as well. It's missing, no, it's maybe not missing, it's been worn away um, thing. So yeah, we have a floor head, ancient looking bags. And uh, one thing that the tailor did say was, um, oh yeah, he's got all his original parts. And I'm like, all right. And uh, she said, I asked for a photo, the plug's been cropping up. And yeah, yeah, I see a photo of this black hose and that. And of course, I, that's original. I told the seller, no, that's not original. She was adamantly aware. Um, but no, but we have the original brown bend. I have actually had a brown bend before. Um, Hoover Guy 101 gave it to me, just because he didn't have a cream brown henry. But then I gave it back when he got his, so that was nice to me. There's a brown bend. This is a pneumatic one, but not original. And that, who knows what that is. Uh -huh. And then last thing out should be the Henry itself. <sighs> Quite hefty. And uh, oh, it all looks pretty good so far. These seem to range in price from. Well, you get cheap ones. I have actually bought another one as well that I got cheap, less than 30 quid delivered. Here he is. Cream and Brown Henry. It's a bit dull. Um, the one that I've got off eBay looks to have a very good condition top cover, so I have two potentially now. Oh, it's a 1991 original plug. Um, seemingly it's been stored for many years. Look at the wheels on this. They're not bad, are they? That one's a bit more worn, but that's not bad, is it? Um, so yeah, I got it for much less than the 80 quid asking price. Oh, red filter. I wasn't expecting that. It's a, a, bit, a wee bit grubby. Um, ah, it's not bad, is it? Um, let's look under here. Dusty. Aye. So, not too bad at all, is he? Yeah, that looks cool. And it's actually got wonky eyes out the box, even as if I've put them on wonky. Um, so I'm on the hunt for brown straight ones and a brown hose. <laughs> Wish me lucky. Um, and maybe another head if I can't sort of, not fix this one, I'm just what I kind of bodge it so that it, it, um, it can at least look good. Uh, let's set you up on the tripod. Yeah, like I was saying, price-wise, I didn't think these were now particularly weird. This is the first one I've ever had. Um, but saying that, I never thought they were particularly weird, because everybody seems to have one. I've never seen one in Scotland. I wonder if Henry's weren't that big up here at that point. But you know, Ryan Oaten has about 70 of them. There's another guy, I think his name's a... Uh, oh, what's his name? I can't remember, but he has at least a few as well. Um, in fact, there was one on eBay recently. You're looking at nothing. I'm trying to see if I can squeeze this neck back in. Because I think it has sort of just popped out and then... Apparently this has been stored for 10 years. It's probably distorted in storage. Um, Wow, there's another guy, I can't remember his name, but he's got like seven of them. There was one on eBay lately that had all its small tools, and it was like 150 quid or something. And it sold. And the crevice tool wasn't even intact, so we all had a good laugh about that. Yeah, I'm going to take this hide apart later and see what I can do. It needs a bit of work. The brown bend, in good condition. Let's, um, let's give the thing a hoover out and see how it works. Oh, I like the plug. The other one I've got off eBay, not to spoil too much, actually has the earlier sort of plug with a red fuse cover, but then I looked closely and actually the wires are pulling out of it. So we'll see. Let's give this one a quick hoover out and see what it's like. Right, I've very quickly realised there was no point in trying to clean this up yet. 
However, I've just chucked the filter out of the shade pneumatic in. Um, let's, again, look at those wheels. They're not bad at all, are they? Not bad. Um, I've always kind of, when people have said, oh, cool, and all that, I've always went, yeah, okay, yeah, look at that rear, yeah. But actually, now I've got one. It is nice. Looking forward to getting the other one. Hopefully we can build a nice one out of two. Obviously the other one didn't have any tools. But it was like less than 30 quid delivered. So I feel that's probably worth it. Let's see if it's going to come on. No, it's switched off. Or it's broken. Let's click the switch here. Um, and I can actually set you up on the tripod and you can watch live action what happens when I switch it on. The tripod that doesn't even fit my phone. There we go. That's quite a good angle. Let's switch it on and see what happens. Yeah, so the bearings are noisy. Apart from that, it seems to sound perfect. As expected, it blew lots of dust out. Um, but I'll go and plug it back in and we'll feel what the suction's like. The suction's prod, um, I'm not going to lie to you. So yeah, apart from the top being a bit dull, I wonder if they've wiped it with something abrasive or just storage marks. It's really not bad, is it? I reckon top casing off the one that's coming on eBay. Um, try and salvage that floor head. See, the wheels are not bad. I keep banging on it with the wheels. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. That's not bad. I quite like the face. And it is brown. Um, yeah. See, what, let me know what you think. If you don't like it, don't let me know because I like it. That's all that matters. Bye. Right, it's a bit of a mess up here. That's just because I've been working on this, which you'll see soon. Oh, yeah, that's an Isle of Henry sticker, by the way. Um, but I thought I would just show you this because I actually cleaned it up yesterday. So I thought, well, let's just film it today. Um, since yesterday, I haven't been able to find a brown hose or brown straight ones. Um, I have been asking. Some people are probably really annoyed at me by now because I've been asking everybody. Um, but here he is. I've just noticed a bit of dust in that vent. But oh well. There's some kind of, you can see there's damage here. Actually, when I took it apart, the damage was right sort of through the other side. So it's maybe heat damage. The cable's cleaned up all right. There's still more paint I should really try and get off. But it is sort of emulsion or something because it's coming off by a damp cloth. Um, the wheels, still in nice condition. I've banged on about them. Here's it running. <laughs> Not bad. Um, the carbon brushes have like half life left in them, uh, and the motor's generally pretty clean. So this casing is a bit kind of dulled at the top. It doesn't show up on camera as much. I think she's maybe the sailors maybe wiped it with just a scourer or something, and just caught the top. So there is some dullness. Now you know this one I've banged on about getting off eBay. Um, the other one. Well, if it's top, it's top casing looks good, so I might use it to make one good cream of brown henry, and then I know people who need other brown bits. The tub looks decent. I was pretty careful cleaning around his eyes. Uh, I didn't want to take them off in case there was no stick left in them. I had to make a messy glue job. Plus, when you take them off, because these eyes have been on for 30 years, there's, there'll be patches underneath where you can see where the tub is really clean. Um, so I don't mind that they're a bit scabby and way out of place. And actually, I quite like that it's a real person's actually done this. Usually it's me that goes, mm, I'm going to stick the eyes on wrong. Um, yeah, there's some paint in there. Again, I need to pick off all the paint. Same with this one. So that's why I've not done it yet. I'm procrastinating. Um, I've been told to use magic sponge things. I always thought they dulled plastic, but I've been told to try it again. So I might try it on something a wee bit scabby like that. And then if it works well, attack this. But yeah, pretty pleased with it. Let's look inside. Now, the filter is hanging up there purely because it's roasting up here. So, I didn't put it through the washing machine. I just washed it like this and I tub soaked it. I find they usually come up pretty well. This one's a bit meh. So, I'm going to give it a hoover off and another wee clean up. And then it'll be fine. Um, so, it's just got a filter out another machine in it. Tub looks alright. It's 
got the oldest paper bags I have, except for the trappet bags I've got. Underneath, cleaned up lovely. I love cleaning up Daft Henry's, they just clean up so nice. They don't take hours of scrubbing, like I did a, I did a UDS lid as well. A couple of days ago and it took ages. The cable, as I say, still needs a bit of cleaning. Handy the soapy water there and the burn plug. Most of the paint came off that, which was good. And I bet you're all wondering about the floor head. Here's the bend, nobody cares though. Here is the floor head and I've got the neck back in, however it doesn't move very freely. Um, and it also pops out. Um, we had to do a bit of, we, me, had to do a bit of trimming to the neck. Some people are shuddering here and that. Underneath, uh, I've left this on. I'm still debating whether no lint strips looks better than no, well, worn lint strip. The brush strip is a bit cleaner. I didn't go mental on it. Um, it's not going to be a head for using anyway because the neck doesn't move. However, I can quickly show you on this rug. And actually, I think it would be a really nice head if my neck was moving. Because it's, it's doing a good job. I think on some carpets it would actually be better than a single pedal floor head. Um, but yeah, there is Cream and Brown Henry. Yeah, pretty please don't. I'm going to take the black holes off now because that is starting to bug me. There we go. Looking good, isn't it? So yeah, apart from the top cover, we're good. And also, I'll probably take the, maybe the clip, and if the bumper is good, off the other one. Because you can see this one's just being caught. I know I'm being picky, I'm starting to sound like Roger, but, you know, if I, if I can be picky and make it good, why wouldn't I? So, you know, answer me that. Thanks for watching.